Welcome to video three, Applying Mechanical Brushing. My name is Alan Gregory, the Technical Manager for In-Depth Hygiene Services Limited. Here you will see a typical mechanical brushing setup diagram. Firstly, your job will be to seal off the length of duct to be cleaned using inflatable airbags or high density foam blocks. In certain systems, it may be possible to use the dampers to create this seal. Remove the grills and diffusers associated with this section of ductwork. Attach the high volume ext vacuum extraction unit, complete with filter assembly, to the duct using flexible ducting and ensure a good seal is achieved. Polythene over all openings except the one through which the rotary brush cable with the brush attached is going to be inserted. Switch filtered air mover on. Select a particular grade of brush to suit the conditions. The brush diameter should not exceed the overall dimensions of the ducts to be cleaned. For rectangular ductwork, a soft brush should be used and chosen specifically for this application. Different duct cleaning equipment manufacturers produce different types of brush design for square ducts. Connect electric or compressed air rotary drive units to the flexible shaft to which the brush is attached. Insert the brush into the duct through an access door or an opening or a grill diffuser mounting. Slowly pass the brush assembly along the duct working from the point of the brush entry back towards the extract fan. If a corner or a junction is located then most rotary brush driven systems can be reversed in order to enable the brush to turn the corner. To turn left, you would rotate the brush left. To turn right, you would rotate the brush to turn right. For rectangular duct work, the same method can be employed to enable the cleaning of the entire ducts as rotating to the left or right will cause the brush to hug the side of the duct. Repeat the above process as many times as necessary in order to remove the deposits from within the duct. This should be confirmed by a thorough internal inspection, either manually, by sight, or by using digital cameras, which may be used in difficult areas. Once the cleaning through a particular unsealed grill or access opening has been performed to the fullest extent possible through that opening, the opening, whether it's an access door hole or a grill opening, should be resealed with a door or polythene sheet as appropriate and another opening into the duct should be selected to further clean the required length of ductwork. Note, at no time should multiple openings of the duct be left open because this would lead to disturbed dust being expelled through the other openings rather than being drawn away into the air mover filter section. Once the section of ductwork is, is complete, move on to the next section and repeat the process. Repeat the above process as many times as necessary to, in order to remove the deposits from within the ductwork system. This should be confirmed by a thorough internal inspection, either manually or by sight, using digital cameras in difficult access areas. The key to rapid ductwork cleaning is to move the air extraction unit as little as possible and move the brushing unit several times. So correct identification of the key location of the air mover is very important. This method of ventilation ductwork cleaning is best applied on ducts not exceeding 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Mm -hmm.